Go. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Inez Bazard, and this video is to demonstrate the functions used for the program for TI-89 available at www.ti89.com. And this specific program is about statistics made easy. And in this video, we're going to be working with binomial functions. And one of the most important things that you should need to know about when you use, when you're computing binomial problems, these are the words and their meanings you have to translate properly to answer correctly the problem. And you must watch for these words. Exactly means you must read the, you must, exactly means equal, less than means of course less than, more than equals more than, greater than, at least equals greater than or equal to, and at most equals less than or equal to. First, you must read the problems once. Then you read the problem and select what's given. Then you calculate the problem. So first thing we're going to do is go to our home page where we have our program programmed into our calculator. And we're going to go to the program, Stats Probability, Enter. Wait for the program to load. Okay, and the binomial function is is um, on F3. It's a distribution. So we go to F3 to get our calculator ready. And number one, you see, is binomial distribution. Those are the problems that we're doing. So then we do enter. Now we're going to read the problem. It says, a particular hair treatment program has caused hair growth in 70% of its users. A random sample of 15 users is obtained. Determine the following probabilities. First, we're going to determine the exactly 15 experiment hair growth. Remember, I told you about the words up here. Exactly is equal to. And we'll show you where that comes in in a minute. Then you read the problem again. And I have all the things that you're looking for in red. But you're looking for the number. That's 15 users. That's the sample. The probability is 70%. And this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the S. And the S is always what they're asking in the question. So as we turned on our, compu our calculator and went to F. F3, number 3, which is binomial distribution, you see the first thing they're asking for is the S, which is given. The S is 15. You put 15 in, in there, and then you go down. The next thing they're asking for is the sample number, and in this case it's 15, again, 15, and you go down. And then the probability is 70%. We never put 70 in there. You put it in as a percentile. So you put 0 0.70. Then we go down to select the view, the view probability table and use the fly out. This is where this is very important. Exactly means equal to. So we go down to where it says compute. X is equal to S. So we go to 5 because that's S. P is equal to X equals S. Select number five and go enter. That's all the information we need. Now we go enter again and it gives us the answer. The answer is P X equals 15 equals 0 0.0047. And you enter again and that's 47.8%. And that's how easy it is.